First of all, go to Play Store, search Launcher iOS 14. Once found, install and run Launcher iOS 14 on your Android device. done, open the app from the app drawer. At the first usage, you will be asked to grant a few permissions. Simply grant all the permissions to use the application. Now, tap on the lock screen. You will see a new pop-up asking you to download lock screen and notifications. Just tap on the OK button. Once done, install the lock screen and notification iOS 14 on the Google Play Store. Once done, open the launcher iOS 14 again and tap on the Control Center. Now you will be asked to download Control Center from the Play Store. Just tap on the OK button and install the application. Now, after downloading the second application, the Control Center iOS 14, go back to the Launcher iOS 14 and tap again the Assistive Touch button on the Launcher iOS 14. You will be asked to install the Assistive Touch application from the Play Store. Tap on the OK button and install the application. When you're finally done installing the three important applications for Launcher iOS 14, now go back to the Launcher iOS 14, then tap on the lock screen option. You would be asked again to grant a few permissions. Simply grant all the permissions to use the lock screen and notifications. Located on the top, Tap on the toggle button to enable the new lock screen and notification. So for the app to work, you need to enable the notification listener service. Simply tap on the lock screen and notifications and allow the next pop up. Once you're in the launcher home, just select the control center. Once open, just tap on the toggle button to allow permission. Again, head back to the launcher iOS 14 and select assistive touch. Tap on the toggle button to enable the assistive touch. Once then, tap the home button and set iOS Launcher as the default launcher app. At the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to get back to your original launcher applications on your smartphone. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get back to your original launcher application on your smartphone.